Well, we're at uh, Birch Bay now. We've been here a week and a half, and it's a nice campground. I, I kind of like our spot, even though we're just off of a road that it's, uh, has a fair amount of traffic. You can see it pretty regular, and there's some houses around. It's still a good uh, site. Uh, we don't like the beach as much as, uh, what's it called? Seaside. Seaside. At Seaside or uh, <laughs> Long Beach. Uh, this is take two. I forgot Seaside on the first take two. Because uh, it's rocky, and it, so you don't walk in the sand and stuff. And Long Beach and Seaside were both pretty nice. But uh, we got to go up into Canada. We're coming into Canada. Coming in too. Hi. Okay, you got your hands full. Where you guys live? Washington. Are you the back window roll down for me? Yes, sir. I thought about that. I'm sorry. Where are you traveling to today? Just. Are you filming me, sir? Yeah. Would you mind not, please? Can I not do that? No, sir. Quit that. I don't consent <laughs> to being taken. We've. It's pretty, pretty up here. Probably the best thing so far is Lisa brought up uh, uh, Josh and Jared last weekend for a couple days. And that was a lot of fun. They came up from Longview. Uh, let me show you here on the map. And I think it's a couple hundred miles. It's pretty long. I'm surprised that they just take that trip, but uh, it's pretty long. Up uh, from Longview up to Seattle and then uh, to Birch Bay. Blaine is the name of the town. And uh, they came up. We Lisa's doing this uh, exercise. Thing where she's walking. I think we're walking she's, off she's dinner. We had our spaghetti <laughs> and we're headed to the ocean <laughs> with the ladies. So I like walking with the ladies. In, in her summer break. And uh, so she wanted to have 100 miles in before they left to go home, which would put her at the end of July. And uh, so both nights that she was here, we went on a walk, a three mile walk with her. It's a pretty good walk. She got a pretty good pace. So we enjoyed that. Uh, I have to admit, since she's been gone, we haven't got three miles in. We get maybe a half or three quarters of a mile in a day. So we got to do something about that. Worked on the bicycles a little bit. But we went up to Canada, had a real good time, and uh, barbecued uh, some steaks, had some spaghetti, made some s'mores, had a campfire uh, both nights. And I had a s'more each night. I think Pearl might have had two one night. But uh, they were pretty good. Lisa puts uh, Reese's peanut butter cups in with the marshmallows. And uh, oh, yeah. and uh, they're pretty good. But one will uh, one will do. Can I have one, Grandma? And one you gonna have one, Lisa? Eventually. Uh, and Josh stick. said no. Yep. There's another stick, Miss Lisa. Uh, fire starters. And then? Yep. And then let them on fire. And that's all? Matches. And match, oh, very good. That's all you needed. All we needed. And it looks like it's gonna be a good fire. I hope so. Fire, fire! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys. When we went up to Canada, we were gonna go over to uh, Vancouver Island, but it looked like the schedule was gonna be a little tough to uh, get there and back in one day. So we didn't do that, we just went up to Vancouver. But an interesting thing that Lisa pointed out is there is once you go into Canada you go up to Vancouver and then if you go towards the coast and come on down there's a, a place called Richard Richards Point and it's just a tip of a little peninsula off of Canada but the bottom like five miles of it is Washington State the only way to get there by road or get out of there by road is to go through Canada you can obviously can fly in or take a boat in but uh but it's kind of unique. There's not much there. There's uh, look like some golf courses and a couple of marinas and a lot of nice houses on the beach. But we didn't see much town or much stores or much tourist stuff. So I'm not sure who lived there or why. But that was pretty interesting. Uh, we got to go there. We didn't. Uh, we got more questions than answers. But uh, if you're ever up in Canada and want a little taste of America, you got a, a, a Richards Point. Point Richards.
get your part 107 license take that uh, test uh, probably half of the test is over uh, airspace and uh, reading sectional maps where well, there's a lot of it but uh, the main thing they want to make sure is you we don't have to follow the hobby rules we got our own set of rules and they're assuming we're smart enough to stay out we can figure out where restricted airspace is and uh, where obstacles and stuff are uh, an example right here is where we're at birch bay and we're camped right up here about where this three is and then here's some restricted airspace coming into some big airport up in canada and it's restricted down to 2500 feet so we only fly 400 so i knew that wasn't in, uh it was a non-event here's some more over here uh, here they're having an air show uh, but that's 10 miles or so away uh, aerial demonstrations i'm not sure what it is but it's from the surface uh going up but it's too far away so i don't have to worry about that but uh it looked all clear this you know we're gonna fly just a couple of miles within this circle here and we're okay so well josh was flying he flew around here he wanted to fly over so we're right up in here he wanted to cut across to this bay right up above us probably three miles away and i said yeah go ahead and uh I watched him a little bit, and then I was messing with Jared, talking about some stuff. And uh, all of a sudden, he said, Grandpa, what is it? You can see in the video where he, he kind of turned the drone away. He said, what is this? I, t I took it from our, he handed it to me, and I turned it back around. And you can see antennas just all around. It's a regular antenna field. Uh, so we got turned around and, and got out of there. Uh, we didn't do any damage, but it was the closest that I've ever come to and I and I learned a good lesson to start I got to start watching for these antennas they can be anywhere uh, so I wanted to kind of show you the map show you what I was talking about and uh, <laughs> enjoy the video <laughs> Feel free to depart your flight. Thank you.